Voilà. different some in Europe area uh, I did not cook anything on the weekend because we have to go somewhere in New York me and my papa love uh, today we are going to cook seafood paella a la mamita so let's go and cook and let me show you all the ingredients uh, like I said before I don't use any recipe book I just cook it by heart and all of them by heart and so I don't have any list to give it to you but uh, since some of you would like to get some of the ingredients I will I will do the list at the very end of our show but first, but first of all let me shout out to uh, Carol and Alex Espirito in California uh, Robert and Tess Flores and their princess Brianna Hello Brianna, how are you? Shout out to Susan Calalo. Shout out to Ate Pearl Cruz from Fairview, Quezon City in Manila. And hello to Ate E from Sydney. And I would like to say hello to Ate Mila Perez and also Kuya, uh, brother Mamerto Lacanilao. I would like to say to Christine and also to Violet Sombero, I think this time I say it right, I hope, but also shout out to uh, Vidal family in Las Vegas, to Patsy Bravo and Medi Bravo and their friend in Macau. Hello, hello, hello. How are you there? You guys be good, be safe and just obey the rules that don't go out anywhere you are without mask and and face shield so we're gonna go through all this we just have to work all together so right now we're gonna have like i said we're gonna cook the seafood paella we're gonna have a lobster they have some mussels we have they call it little neck clams and we have the brazilian shrimp and of course we have the good pepperoni uh, because we don't have the asafron uh, on hand, I will use the sazon goya, the asafron you can buy in local grocery. We're gonna use chicken broth and also diced tomato, just drain it and remove our extra juice in there. We're gonna have use the butter instead of oil. We will need a, a few parsley. We're gonna need garlic, a little bit of uh, bay leaves, and onion so first we're gonna cook everything and then we're gonna add the rice first i have to saute the onion of course that's the first thing to do and remember garlic is better if it's not toasted so fresh garlic in any food is good So, Papa Lab would like to have this long time ago and then I said, well, I can give him a treat just, you know, just, uh, I give him a treat and he doesn't know I'm gonna cook it for dinner just for him. Me, I'm sorry, but paella is not my thing. I rather eat it plain with rice the way we do in the Philippines. And then we're gonna use some garlic, of course. And then I'll show you, I have to saute first all the seafood and then we're gonna take it out, add uh, the chicken broth and then we will add the rice. At the very end, before we take it out the pan from the stove, we're gonna put the rest of the seafood. So I probably surprised everyone why I'm speaking English because uh some of my friends who wanted to watch my show and they wanted to follow because they like asian food uh, 
they cannot follow the all they said that all that we understood is garlic and onion and sometimes we catch up some tomato so let's cook simple you know we all filipino can speak and understood everything and so i want i would like to cook for everybody it's not just uh you know let's widen the viewers I'm not gonna cook a lot of uh, rice because it, uh, Papa Lab is the only one who will eat. But like I said, this is a simple treat for Papa Lab. We've been asking and we've been saying how uh, when he's gonna cook it, but I never thought I will cook it. But today is a day. Oh, the only thing I don't like is the onion. I like cooking, don't get me wrong, but onion is not my thing. Oh. Oh. I'm just gonna cut it in bite size. So, of course my daughter, she told me she, all she wants is salad. So we have some steak and I already grill and we have some buffalo chicken wings that I marinated last I think last Friday and she decided she does not like what she does not want to eat any chicken so salad is for her thank you You're awesome. So we will use some butter, not too much, maybe two tablespoon of butter. So we're gonna add the garlic. Like I said, I don't like garlic in this uh, paella dish that uh, garlic is toasted. And of course, I'm gonna add this too. So that way, the color and the flavor will be on the butter, the uh, onion. It's just the garlic and onion and the pepperoni. It smells so good. And if you can see the oil, the oil, the butter is turning orangey. And we're gonna put some fresh ground pepper. Those ladies that I met on the ferry boat, they suggested that I should make it in English so they can able to watch. And they decided to subscribe in my channel even though they don't understand what I have. But So that's why I decided starting today, even though my English is not that great, but I'm pretty sure because he told me, ah, your English is fine. So you ask me her name, I don't remember. That's the thing. That. And then we're gonna add the tomato. I'd like to add the tomato. There you go. Mmm. That's what you call food. Then we're gonna add the Goya Zazon. So, like I said, I don't have a saffron in hand, but when I come back from the Philippines, if I able to go this year, I will bring a lot of saffron. In here, it's way too expensive. But I read about a saffron. It's just a flower of the flower. You know, it's like uh, the bud. A bud of, uh, I forget about that flower, but I have it in front of my house. Actually, I started collecting them last two years ago. 
and I dry them and it really look like a saffron but guess what I forgot to bring it inside so next time I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it so I'm gonna get I'm gonna put two there you go or maybe not we'll see let me try it first Mmm, tastes good already. That's what you call life. Okay, I'm gonna put, because you know what? If I add the rice, it won't be that strong color. So I rather look like paella than paella, paella, rather than steamed rice. only papalab so I won't make it so much for me I rather have soup than this I love this wok it's really good voila Now we're going to add the shrimp because that shrimp is still frozen. And we're going to eat. Add that one. And remember, it's up to you. It's entirely up to you. What kind of rice would you like to use? I prepare with basmati rice, which is not Uncle Ben. I bought my basmati rice through an Indian store, which is perfect it's not so sticky after you cook them and like i said uh we're not gonna make a lot but he probably gonna end up having some more for tomorrow let's cover it so it will not evaporate the juice and it will cook better mm. So uh, make sure that you all don't overcook the seafood because we're going to take it out and then we're going to put the rice and the chicken broth in here. For me, I'd like to have some soup. We make soup out of this seafood the way we want it back home in the Philippines. But of course, not everyone would, uh, will cook that way. So I'm showing you uh, how Mamita cooked the paella. Remember, everything I cook is a la Mamita. No recipe book, nothing. This is gonna be good. Let's cover this because it needs to be open a little bit. So if you see this, it'll be. You see that? Ma, you see that, ladies, mamitas? That looks awesome. All right, so. I guess they are open and we're gonna slow down and get all this so we can put the rice. Remember, I'm using basmati rice. You can use calros, you know, the Californian rice, but I prepare the basmati. But I don't use the Uncle Ben from the gro local grocery. I use the basmati from uh, Indian store and if you will ask them they will tell you which one is better so now we're gonna put this Mam 
Mamita will add two bay leaves right there. Just enough for flavor for the rice. And then we're going to add later all the seafood. See that? Now we're going to we're going to add the lobster on the top to make sure that they're being steamed. Now we have to stir them. Yeah, you have to stir them and make sure they're, you know, they're not sticking on the bottom. And then we're going to add the lobster on the top and continue steaming them. Here you go. And then we're going to prepare uh, some parsley at the very end. Mamita, make sure that we try to get some juice from the seafood and put it on top of this uh, lobster. So the lobster will have also some flavor. But remember, we don't saute the lobster so they won't be overcooked. But because I crack all the, even the claw, meaning that you can put some and uh, add. So it, we have to do it on the low heat, uh, very low simmer low heat so we don't burn the rice and the lobster still not cooked so we have to make sure that very low heat okay mamita so i had already all the seafood around it and i turned the lobster so make sure that everything is cooked and then we're gonna cover it for another 10 minutes and then our food is ready we have to make sure that this tree is, is really really close so we have to push everything that is on the side preventing the cover to fit but that's all i can do i guess now we have the finishing touch with the uh, uh, parsley and there you go, ready to serve. Voila! See that? Oh. Yummy. Saba, first I'm gonna serve you the lobster. Ooh. gonna serve you some rice okay is that rice enough oh lucky papa nice. I did not make it spite salty. Mmm, that is awesome. I won't eat it, but it tastes so good. It's good. Yes. Try the chorizo, the pepperoni. It's good. I'm just gonna bite a little bit. 
and I just wanted to uh, show these. Mm. It is really good. Huh? Choice is good. Is it good, darling? Awesome. That's your special treat. Mmm. This is really good. The seafood paella a la mamita. This is so good. Good job. I've been wanting to cook this for a long time. Finally. So I cook him some seafood paella yeah? so when he pick up the boat and he go fishing I hope he will bring me some of the seafood so I can cook some for him it's, this is really really good I am not just kidding I am so serious this is a serious business right here right darling right Papa Love absolutely yes this is good sorry Trexo I know you will be watching this and Sonnet hi Sonnet Shout out to Sonnet and Trexel Chua. Shout out to uh, Sally. To all my siblings back home, please take care. Be good and be safe and listen uh, whatever is the rule so no one will get hurt. I still love the fish I'm cooking. Pangatlo, pangatlong init, pangat pangat. Mm. That is good. I think you should get uh, those pots right there by the sink, honey. So you can put all your shells, please. There by the sink. I think I'm gonna get one shrimp. How's that? Ooh. That wine is come, you know, complements the food, honey. Is the lobster? Is it good? Yeah, it could be cooked a little bit longer. But it's good like that. It's sweeter. Yeah. It's good. That you need to be careful, okay? He loves lobster. I do love lobster, but I have to be in the mood to eat them.
remember, life is good. Be thankful, be happy, no stress. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Until the next vlog, see you then. Goodbye. I love you all.